Welcome to my webpage. Glad you're here. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I use my dome round brushes to apply light values on circular shaped objects. The brushes come in four sizes, a large, a medium, a small, and an extra small. They're 100% stable, so they're very absorbent and resilient. First, if you use these brushes for nothing more than to put a cheek on an ornament or a light value on a berry, you will love them. First, I apply a thin sheen of Folk Art Extender to my surface. You can use water, but I'm not as proficient with water, so I choose to use the Folk Art Extender. Once I have that on and there's just a sheen, I'll pick up just a teeny dot of the color that I'm going to use for the cheek. I just want to make sure it's not too wet. And I'm just going to set a dot down where the cheek is going to go. I'll pick up this extra small dome round and I'm going to go right over the top of it. I'm going to press on it and give it a little bit of a shove. Dot. Blot it in a little and I'm done. And I have a perfect cheek or perfect highlight. Um, here you can see I have some blueberries and I would do the same thing. I would apply a very thin sheen of the Folk Art Extender, pick up a drop of the light value, place it where I want in that upper right center quadrant, and I'm going to take the same dome round brush, push on it, and just push it in, and I have a beautiful light value on the blueberry. Same can be done with the sweet, the peas. I take the pea and I'll pick up a tiny droplet of the light value in my liner brush, place it in that upper right quadrant, take the dome round, dry wipe it off in the damp area of my paper towel, come back in, set right on it, and push that light value down into the pea. And you have a nice light value with no pain. Sometimes we have larger objects like for instance the strawberry. I'll start all the same way, put a little bit of extender on the strawberry. This time the light value will be a little bit bigger so I'm going to pick up a little bit more paint. I can put it on in an irregular star or just a large circular like I did before. I'll probably come in and pick up my medium brush and again I'm going to start at the top and I press really firmly down and I'm going to let that brush work. I gently rotate it, push, pushing it into that background and have the beginning of a beautiful light value on that strawberry. I have an orange here. I would do the same thing, only this time I might put um, a little bit even larger area of um, light value on. Pick up a liner or a round, and I'm going to pick up my orange, light orange value. And in the upper right center light source, it falls in this upper right quadrant. And at this point, I put the light value in on an irregular star. That way, I don't tend to make any outlined edge on it. I'm going to pick up my large, and I'm going to start on the outside corner, and I'm just agitating that brush a little bit lifting and letting it twist, turn over, and rolling it a little in my fingers as I walk around that highlight, pushing that paint into the background. Not pouncing it, I'm just pushing it. I'm barely lifting it off. Do more of a rotating of that paint in, of the brush. When it's soft enough, walk away. Once it's dry, the extender's dry, you can go back in and you can repeat it as many times as you want. Painting a light value on this long area here, or on this pepper, is a little bit more difficult because you have to flip-flop your brush. And for me, there's nothing more painful than flip-flopping your brush. So what I do is I'll take and put the extender down. I'll let me rinse my brush here. Pick some light value and I put it right down the middle of where I want the light value to fall. Now this could be with a crock or it could be with any uh, cylindrical shaped object. 
I'm going to take and dry wipe the um, large round out. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to start push down and just swish back and forth until I have a nice light value come in, soften the edge. You can pull it out more or push it out more however. And you have the beginnings, the first value of a great highlight on your pepper. Thank you. Visit me again.